Okay, so in this video I'm going to do a quick overview of the pen tool. The pen tool in Illustrator is located on our toolbar um, directly below the magic wand tool. And if I click like this too, we'll find it's below the lasso tool. What is the pen tool? Well, sometimes we might actually find, some people, you may think, I know I did, that the pen tool is one of the most difficult tools to get control over. But once you can have mastered the pen tool, the rest of Illustrator is a piece of cake. We use the pen tool to really create artwork. We can create straight lines, curved lines, three-dimensional shapes, closed shapes, lines with angles. The pen tool really gives us very good control over the drawings that we're doing. But at first, sometimes it may take, there's a bit of a learning curve. So let's get started. As you can see, there's a tear out associated with the pen tool. So what I did was I click this little arrow, come over, pull my mouse down and tear off this tear off. And we start with the pen tool. We come to our screen. And the first image that we're going to see is the little white arrow. Now, what you're seeing here, I have my smart guides turned on, these green uh, things. So I click my mouse, I have created my first anchor point. I come in, let's start first with a straight line. If I hold down shift and click, I can get a perfectly straight line. Now, when I look at this image too, I can see that the fill is turned on. I'm actually going to turn the fill off and what I want to do here is actually turn the stroke on. So let's come on in here. Let's fill the stroke. And if I wanted to, too, I could make the stroke even bigger. I can click off. And there we have it. There is our shape. If we want it to be bigger, we can change the point size of our shape. And here we have our straight line. OK, so let's explore straight lines just a little bit more and get ourselves a little bit more familiar with the pen tool. So again, we come, we grab the pen tool, I click, I can see that I've created my anchor point. If I hold down shift, I'll get a perfectly straight line. Same thing, click, up. All right, so now that one was connected to the next one. If I don't want it to be connected, I want it to be its own line, I need to grab my black tool, deselect it, grab my pen tool one more time, and I can click, hold down shift, click. All right, now let's take a look at creating a closed shape with straight lines. And let's also take a look at angles. All right, so taking a look at creating angles, same thing with holding down shift. We can draw um, our perfectly angles at 45 degree angles, actually at 45 degree angles. So I can click, hold down shift. Now if I come down like so, up, we'll see that we're getting these different angles. Now, why is it looking that way? That's because my fill is turned on. So what I really want when I'm doing this is to turn my stroke on. So again, I can hold down shift, click, and I'll see I'll get these combination of straight lines and 45 degree angles. Now, but what we could say too though, is we could do these angles too. Oops, I want to deselect this, deselect. And I can click, I don't even need, I'm clicking the letter P to get to the uh, pen tool. That's the shortcut. You always know the shortcut because you can come and hover. But I can come and I could just, you know, click in different areas without the holding down shift to get these different types of angles and putting them together. All right, so now I wanted to show you what's going to happen when you come into a closed shape. These are my angles. You always know that it's a closed shape because you see the circle. As you come to the last anchor point, you see a circle, and that means that you have closed the shape. So this is now a closed shape. Once I have my closed shape, if I wanted to, I could put a fill color in on this shape of mine, and voila, there it is, a closed shape. This one right now is not a closed shape, but you can see we can grab the black arrow and we can select it and we can move this around by clicking directly on the black arrow. Now, let's say I wanted to turn this into a, black, into a closed shape. What would I have to do? Here are the steps. First thing I need to do is come grab my pen tool, grab my pen tool, and I need to hover by my last anchor point. As I hover by my last anchor point, and maybe I could even zoom this in just a tad bit, as I hover by my last anchor point, 
I can see that I get the arrow, I get the um, slash, I guess it's the forward slash. Um, and now I click, now that has reactivated my path. Now I can click over here and now I can close this shape. All right, moving right along. Let's come on back in. Let's take a look at closed shapes. I want to move this shape. I'm gonna click on this one again. I need to use my selection tool to do that. Now when I grab my selection tool too, I could make this smaller if I wanted to. I could flip it around. Okay, this one is closed also. Same thing, I can make this a smaller shape. I'm holding down shift to keep the relationship between the width and the height. I can hover this around. I can add the color onto this one as well. And there we have it, our complex shapes with angles. Let's take a look at closed shapes. And what do we mean by that? Well, these are all closed shapes, but I just want to review, and I'm gonna zoom in so we can see this a little bit better, and we're gonna just focus in on this idea of closed shapes. So here goes. We come on in, we grab our pen tool, and I could make a perfect rectangle with this. If I hold down shift, click, I'm holding down shift still, click, click, click. Now in order to close the shape, I come in, I hover, I know my shape is closed because I have my circle closed shape. If I want to now move this shape, I can do that also and move it on over. Let's try another one. Grabbing the pen tool, we're just gonna do a more random kind of shape. I'm gonna turn off my fill, because a lot of times when the fill is on, it gets hard to see. So I can click. Now what I've just done is I've clicked and I've dragged. This is how we're creating a curve line. I'm gonna go over curve lines in a minute, but I'm moving around here, moving around. I know that I'm gonna close the shape because I come on in, I click, and here I am, here's my little shape. I could put a fill color in if I'd like. Now let's say that I have some thinking, oh man, I don't really, I need to change this around a little bit. Well, it's real easy to do. Let's say I wanted to take this little anchor point right here and move it out. Well, all I would need to do is grab my white arrow, click onto that anchor point, and I can use my arrows and move this out. I could even grab these little handles and start moving them around and getting this exactly more where I want it to be. So there's really so much that you can do. Let's go over one more thing with closed shapes and then we'll move on to our next thing. We come, we grab the pen, I'm turning off my fill. I start moving around, I'm dragging out handles again. I click to drag, to drag out my handles. Hmm, now let's say I, you know, I gotta go, I do something else. I wanna continue this shape. I grab my pen, this is a common mistake. Up, oh, I click, oh no, I'm starting a new path. I always know I'm starting a new path because I have that little star image. So that's not what I want to do. I want to delete this. In order to close this shape, I need to reactivate the path. I need to reactivate the anchors and the path. I take my pen tool. I hover by my last anchor. I click. Now it's reactivated. I know it's reactivated and I can zoom in a little bit so we can see this a little bit better. I know that it's reactivated because as I look at it, I can see that that little point is there. Okay, now I need to do that one more time. Now I can click, 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 hover in, close. Now you might be asking yourself, hmm, how did she get those smart guides? Well, smart guides are really easy. All you do is you go view, smart guides. If I turn them off, let's see how this looks. And I'll do one more um, without the smart guides. One more, one more closed shape without the smart guides. Come grab my pen, click, click, click. So we can see that you don't get any of that information. Click, it's closed. All right, there we have it. In this video, we've just gone over how we go about creating with the pen tool straight lines, angles, and we started to look at closed shapes. Thanks for listening.